Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. And yeah, the world is here and the Ace of Pentacles. So something here is over. It's a, it's a time for you to be successful. It's a time for you to be happy and joyful. Now, I know around the holidays, for some of you, there could have been family feuds or, or things that happen. And we don't want to focus too much on the negativity. But sometimes you need to burn certain bridges so that you can cross um, into a new cycle in your life. So for not you know for some people it's not always a bad thing that has happened but i just feel that things like i said known and unknown seen and unseen are happening that are for your greatest and your highest good so something is being cleared out i feel strongly that for those of you who have been dealing with like black magic for a lot of you that that energy is um being eliminated i'm not saying that there's no one in the background still doing things to you but Apparently, your awakening or where you are spiritually, emotionally, and energetically, you're able to combat this type of energy. And it's allowing you now to have a breakthrough where you can expect some type of good fortune to come, whether it's in love, your career, your friendships, your family, or whatever. The Ace of Pentacles is the overall energy. 333 on the clock. Yay. Eight of Wands. Oh, my goodness. See, I'm telling you, like, blockages are being removed. At one point, there could have been a lot of stuff going on. You could have been very, very stressed. The Ten of Wands just fell down. Some of you could have been even stressed out, having back pain, and some of you are just very tired, weary, worried about what was coming. But it's like you won this battle. That's the Six of Wands. So this is all fire. We have the Eight of Wands here, the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Some of you have been working extremely hard to manifest something here, like... Your blood, sweat, tears, everything has been put into something in your life. And I do feel like it's coming. Ten of swords here. You may have experienced a lot of um, sadness, grief, a lot of betrayal, deception. But I feel like the weight is finally being lifted off your shoulders. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Here is 10, 10, 10. You're getting something back like triple, triple blessings. Tenfold. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. And here is the Sun with the Strength. I cannot make this up. Here is the Sun with the Strength. Okay. The Queen of, of Wands is here with, what's that? The Star and Balance. So this new moon in Sagittarius 444 was just on the clock as well. It's ending a lot of your stress, fear, and your anxiety. Here's the Nine of Swords and the Awakening card. So I feel like a lot of people, if this isn't you, this is someone in your environment, friend, family, lover. Someone here has, is for sure having like a breakthrough. But for there to be three tens here, it's like you're dropping something. Whatever has been a burden in your life, whatever has caused you to have to work too hard, overwork yourself, stress, Whatever has been imbalanced is finally balancing out. That is the reason why balance is here. So we just had the new moon in Sagittarius. Okay. It's like three or four days afterwards. So that energy is still lingering. So take advantage of it. Continue to manifest. Okay. Continue to cleanse and clear your energy. But for some of you too, you could have been feeling very tired or like you just needed to take a step back with this awakening card being here. Um, this is the hangman energy. So it's sort of like you may have wanted to take a step back to figure out what exactly was imbalanced in your life. Where were you working too hard? I feel like one of the readings that I just did a few days ago, I was talking about that, where it's like you're needing some type of discipline and structure. Sagittarius to me, like the temperance energy is you tapping into ancient wisdom. It's shape shifting. It's you learning how to sort of um, navigate through different realms and dimensions and and energy energetic frequencies on your own so that you can get the best possible outcome in whatever situation is presented to you some of you of course you're balancing your feminine and masculine energy as well it's like you're learning how to receive but you're also learning when it's necessary for you to take action or not take action for you to receive something some of you are needing to learn how to allow yourself to get help you're needing to understand that there's a lot of strength in you being vulnerable enough to just say i don't know i don't understand i don't have it i can't do it or whatever the case is because many of you you've been in this energy of I feel like overcompensating with this 10 of wands here where you've been going so hard to be successful and there's been so much in the background that has been trying to stop and block you. And it's like now you finally can take a weight off your shoulders. And for many of you, it's you coming into the awareness now that you've had people um, or situations around you that have been weighing you down 
or even your own mindset. You know, these are the challenges that now you perhaps are finding the strength to actually see, okay, I really do need to change this or I need to, you know, when you can't change people, you change people. I'll say it again. When you can't change people, you change people. So some of you are needing to change, you know, who you allow yourself to invest your time, effort, and energy into. And maybe you're needing to invest more in yourself at this time. So don't be afraid to take some time out. I don't feel like you need to be in isolation, but your mindset about things is shifting and changing how you how you defi define success is changing. Some of you are um, definitely working, I feel, on you know tapping more into your strength um being just overall more abundant and, and more assertive or it's like for you to be more abundant you're gonna have to be more assertive because there's a lot here as far as the star and the sun like whatever you touch is, is turning to gold this is having that midas touch but this is also having the strength to come out of the dark um Stepping into your personal power. Some of you may suffer from like imposter syndrome. That could be a result of you dealing with a lot of neglect or abandonment, rejection. Many of you have, you know, finally won this battle of dealing with narcissists. Like I said, overcompensating, being that highly sensitive empath, you know, always being in this state of fear or anxiety or, or for some people even depression here and feeling like with the four of pentacles like you're missing out on opportunities or sort of operating out of fear i feel like all of that is finally leaving the four of pentacles is here letting me know that um some of you maybe you've been holding on to money very closely because you could kind of be operating out of fear fearing that there won't be more money to come in towards you but i don't think that you you're gonna have any problems when it comes to your overall security or stability okay you're needing to stop focusing on the negative and understand that something here is actually working in your favor you have a lot of really really great blessings coming so just make sure that you're aligning your thoughts with abundance and prosperity happiness and joy being at peace and again, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to work with other people. Some of you have gone through so many hard times, test trials and tribulations that you fear working with other people. But you're going into a, a part of your journey, becoming the star where you need to work with other people. You need to be able to shine your light with others. That's your greatest gift. Yeah. And here we have the Ace of Cups. So this is about you loving yourself. And oh my gosh, the Justice card. The Six of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Nine of Wands. It's like you stood your ground here. You were, you know, even in the battles that you weren't prepared for, you you decided not to give up. You know, I feel that a lot of you, you're working on your relationship with God, with your angels, your guides, your ancestors, whatever, you know, you subscribe to. And it's working for you. I think that your spiritual team is reminding you of who you are and why you're here and how you need to serve. There's endings here. There's three tens here. And here is the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Something in your past is being balanced out. You're receiving some type of justice in a situation from the past. This could be something that happened to you in the recent past you know, in your childhood, this could be a past life relationship. Um, for some of you, you know, you're breaking through a lot of generational curses and hexes and, and barriers. You know, you it's like you've been fighting this good fight. And for some of you, you really didn't know exactly what you were fighting, but you didn't back down and you're being rewarded for that. 100%. You're being rewarded for that. You could be having dreams about things in the past or, um, People from your past could be coming back. For some of you, you have situations from the past that are being mended. They are going to be improved. Now, this doesn't mean that there's a relationship with someone coming back as far as romantic, especially where I'm saying, oh, you need to be with that person. But for some of you, just as you are changing and evolving, there are people from your past who are also changing. They're growing. They're evolving. This could be friends, family members or lovers. And you'll have an opportunity to work with some of these people. Again, this doesn't have to be romantic. But some of you, there are people that you've crossed paths with that may re-enter your life. And you and this person or these people may have an opportunity now to embark on a new um, journey where it's actually emotionally fulfilling. 
whether this is friendships, like I said, lovers or even family. Some of you, if you've been at odds with your family, we just had the holidays and a lot of people were gathering. Maybe you and some, you and your family members, you know, you exchange words. There could have even been an argument. And now there's a breakthrough that's happening, you know, and sometimes a breakthrough, it doesn't come right away. Sometimes there will be a, a tower moment to happen and, and it will cause a person to kind of shift their mindset. But the, the good thing is that, like I said, you are being rewarded. Many of you, your justice um, for everything that you had to go through in the past, even in your childhood, you're receiving the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles now. So this is prosperity. You know, it's love. It's financial prosperity and abundance. It's career opportunities coming in. Okay, you're going to enter um, contracts with people, you know, romantic soulmate contracts, and it's going to really work in your favor and it's because you decided with the eight of cups here to move on you want more out of life yeah here's the two number eight a lot of synchronicities here we have two ones two eights there's three tens here this is actually the third number eight so this has a lot to do with your abundance here because the very first card that came out in the reading was the eight of wands so we have the eight of wands the eight of cups and the eight of pentacles this is very, very beautiful because right underneath that is the justice and the balance card. So whatever type of um, barrier has been in your way of your abundance, I feel like that's that's over. OK, the three of swords is here. Yeah, that's over. You're moving out of this heartbreak. And honestly, what I'm getting here is for a lot of you because of the pain, the rejection, the abandonment and some of the things that you've gone through that have caused you to have this ongoing um period of sadness or you know feeling misunderstood feeling left out in the cold with the three of swords underneath that is the king of cups so this is saying that you're moving into a time now where you're going to be able to love and be loved a lot of you the blockage in your abundance has been due to the fact that your heart chakra was blocked there's been so much pain so much suffering so many blockages and barriers that you have been fighting against because for some of you, you were chosen. You're chosen to be that bloodline curse breaker. You're chosen to be the one that, you know, is going to be the first in your family to have a very lucrative business or to make those changes for generational wealth and growth. And therefore, you've had to miss out. Some of you, I'm getting where you didn't have much of a childhood or you didn't have an opportunity to have the fun that some people around you were able to have because you were chosen and you accepted that calling to go out to be the first. You know, it's like, um, yeah, it's, it's really, <sighs> people will say it's like a blessing and a curse, but ultimately it is a blessing because it's everything that you've gone through is bigger than you, you know, and the nine of pentacles is here now with the transformation card, the dreamer and the high priestess. Going back to this 888, though, for some of you, you've been doing a lot of manifestation and everything that you're, you've manifest, you've been trying to manifest for many of you, you've experienced roadblocks because you've had people in the background who have been trying to do magic and use a lot of manipulative tactics, of course, to stop you. But I feel that many of you now, you have walked away from the things that didn't serve you, people, places, things, jobs, situations or whatever. And you change your priorities. Some of you, you are leaving friends and family behind, or you could be moving or relocating. Some of you are relocating for a job. Some of you, if you're waiting on a call back to for a job or a new home, um, some type of large purchase or something like that, I do feel like it's going to work out for you because it is your karmic justice. It's like God is wanting you to have this new start so that you can just... Um, Pretty much like just it's like you need a clean slate and it's being granted to you. But there was obviously something that you had to sacrifice. OK, but transformation is here with the nine of pentacles. Once again, there is money coming in for you. You're going to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So, you know, you reap what you sow. And many of you, you've planted really, really good seeds. And despite everything that people have done in the background, you have these tower moments, this death and rebirth energy that's here. And this is coming from, of course, you seeing situations at face value and releasing your own self-limiting beliefs about people, places and things, walking away from it and now going into a time where you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. You can be happy. You can be successful. Some of you are starting businesses. There's a, there's money coming in from somewhere. 
And the only reason why you haven't been receiving this money, honestly, is because you have the wrong people around you, mindset blockages, you know, fear, anxiety, because of the things that you've gone through and because your heart chakra was blocked. You have to be, you have to have an open heart chakra in order for you to have abundance and receive the type of abundance that will forever be yours. A lot of people, they don't have an open heart chakra, okay? They don't do things out of love. They do things, they steal from people who are loving, caring, kind, and nurturing, and that's how they have their abundance. Now it's like the last is becoming first and the first is becoming last. People who have gained success and abundance off of the blood, sweat, and tears of another person because they didn't have their heart open, those individuals now they're crashing and burning. So you're you're being given back what was always yours anyway. Justice is being served, okay? Yeah, this is a new start. Some of you are, you finally, you know, answered the call also of you being, um, this high priest or this high priestess developing your own intuitive and psychic gifts, you know, really tapping in, having that wisdom to know, you know, when to move or when not to move, when to take action, when to sit still, balancing yourself, understanding self-control and moderation, learning how and when to react and to respond to certain things. This is so, this is really good energy really really good so you should pat yourself on the back and congratulate yourself for doing the work a lot of you are also being rewarded too for the fact that you have treated other people with respect even when they went against you okay the seven of wands once again this is you being protected some of you right now you're holding back the four of pentacles um make sure that you're you're not holding back to the point that you're just not able to receive anything but the seven of wands is also saying that you are protected Okay, you are protected. The four of pentacles is here. Seven of wands, you're protected. So it is now safe for you to build a future for yourself. If you've been, you know, saving for something, waiting on the right time, maybe some of you, you've been waiting on the right time to do something because you were afraid that if you were going to, to take action, it would have been sabotaged by your enemies. God is coming in saying, no, the time is now. I've, I've given you your justice. You have justice here. And this is so beautiful. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like whatever is going to make you happy. The Wow, look at this. Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. There is no more baggage. Your past cannot haunt you anymore. If there were issues within your family that's being resolved, you're healing family issues. And this is so beautiful because as you heal things in your family and those family issues, it raises the vibration of you and everyone around you, you're repairing things in your, your bloodline. So as you really think now about going into partnerships and relationships, there's a huge transformation that's happening where you now are going to be able to really collaborate and team up with people. Because the truth has been spoken, there's a breakthrough that has happened. The Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords is here. Someone here is very clear about who you are and they have no choice but to accept it. If you have taken that torch in the family to be, you know, that matriarch figure or that leader in the family or, or that new business owner or whatever, people are understanding that, you know, they should listen to your ideas. People, you're, you've earned your stripes in the spiritual world, many of you, but even now within your friends and your family groups, like people, they know who you are. Your name is going to start ringing a lot of bells. Or people, they have no choice but to respect you. A lot of people are going to want to come towards you to work with you now because they see what you've gone through and what you've been able to overcome. This is just amazing. A lot of clearing of things in the family, like your DNA is being repaired, is what I'm getting here. Yeah, two of pentacles. So where, where people were juggling, going back and forth or playing both sides, a lot of people around you, even your energy, your light has actually, I feel, allowed other people now to start seeing signs, symbols, and synchronicity. Some of you, because you're choosing to be more outgoing, more assertive, and you're talking more about your journey, what it's doing is it's causing other people to start researching. They're researching, which is now allowing them to develop more. So the people around you are actually shifting and changing. They're growing. They're learning. 
things about themselves. For some of you, you know, you've had to tell people certain things about themselves and have those difficult conversations. And as a result, they're starting to see things your way and they're ready now to do the work to rebuild and to grow. And that's a very beautiful thing when you can actually inspire people to walk away from things that don't actually serve them to walk into their purpose. So like I said, for some of you, you do have certain individuals in your life who maybe in the past, they didn't want to, to listen to you. But now that they see where you are in life, they're now catching on to like, oh, maybe I should listen to that person. You're gaining a following. You're gaining respect here. Because you've healed. People see, okay, if this is what healing looks like, maybe I should do the same thing. And this is leading you to the ultimate wish fulfillment. This is your birthright. This is you being in your purpose. This is you going towards your destiny. And a lot of people who were working against you, they're very confused because I can sense here where there were so many roadblocks that were placed in your path, but you have become the high priestess here. People are extremely disappointed now too that you still earn this high ranking like these gifts or, you know, just who you are, the stripes that you've earned in the spirit realm. These people, they weren't able to block you or stop you. And what you have coming in is an offer that's going to take you to the ultimate wish fulfillment. For some of you, you finally have true love coming into your life. Whether it's someone from the past coming back in new energy or someone brand new. You have an offer of love that's coming in that is going to be so, so beautiful. Because someone is going to see you. You're going to be able to meet a person now and you're a vibrational match. They're going to see you as a high priestess or a priest. They're going to know that you're spiritual. This is you going into a spiritual union with someone who understands your goals. They understand your mission and your purpose. They understand that for you, you are that bloodline curse breaker. You are, you know, that business owner. You are that spiritual being. They're going to understand that about you. And they're not going to try to have you in the shadow. They're not going to try to hide you. They're not going to try and, and trigger things from your past. They're going to help you to grow and to evolve. You have This is just amazing. It really is. I was not expecting this, but I'm so happy that I, I was able to <laughs> tap into this energy because it really is just beautiful. The Page of Pentacles, you have good news and confirmations coming in. There's something that some of you have been worried about. You've been worried about missing some type of opportunity. No, it's going to work out in your favor, okay? Even if it doesn't work out the way that you had hoped it would, God is working something out in your favor, even if that means that you end up being redirected. You're being directed to your, your destiny, like your soul's purpose and journey. You're going to be placed wherever you're supposed to be. May not be where you want to be, but you're going to be placed where God wants you. And it's in a beautiful place. The Empress is fertility. It's abundance. It's creativity. This is saying you get to birth an entire universe if you want to. Everything that you need has always been right there within you. And the tower moment is here with the devil. Oh, my God. The temperance card. The fool. Y'all, I cannot make this up. Like, I'm just like ace of wands, nine of pentacles. There is a major, major breakthrough that's happening, okay? The tower, this is a life, this is life-changing, life-altering experience that has happened here. I feel strongly that divine intervention has come in to break you free from anything that has had a hold on your mind, any type of illusions, the subconscious fears, the doubts, anything that has stopped you from being able to produce. Whatever you're trying to produce, whether it's a baby, a business, a partnership, you're you're finally having this breakthrough moment here. This Sagittarius moon came in. This is like the angel and the devil, okay? Many of you, you had to pick a side, and now you're free. You're no longer hanging in limbo. Your feminine and masculine energy is balanced. You've, you're becoming a vibrational match for a partner if you are you know looking for a partner but your third eye is open you're passionate about your new beginning and you will have success and abundance wow wow i just i'm almost speechless this is so so good six of swords your angels your guides god they showed up for you in a major way they, they saw you struggling they saw you struggling and they are saying, I have to reward you for your strength. There has to be a turning point here because you are able to rely solely on God, on, on that higher power within yourself. So the turning point here is beautiful. You're being rewarded. You've earned your stripes. 
Your spiritual team is like, yeah, we're taking you to, to the promised land. We're taking you to your birthright. We're taking you to everything that is destined for you because through being a wounded warrior, you still, you fought a really, really good fight. There's nothing here for you to be confused about. Some of you right now, I do feel because I just saw the Eight of Swords, you're still in your head like, is it safe? It's safe now. My God, <laughs> it's safe. If you're wondering, is it safe for you to date? Is it safe for you to move forward? It's safe. The Ace of Pentacles is here with the lovers. I I can't remember a time where I saw these. These cards fell out together. So there's a huge offer coming in love. A huge offer. The person that you will grow and build and evolve and heal with, that person is coming. And if it's not about a person with you, the lovers is just a choice. You finally get to go on the path that you're choosing for yourself that is going to bring about love. If it's not love in a romantic relationship, it's just loving partnerships and relationships, even if it's in business. But this leads to security and stability. The Page of Cups. This, for a lot of you, though, it is a romantic offer. The Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. You're having an offer that's going to come to you, the kind of offer you say, oh, well, when pigs fly, that'll be the day I get it. You'll see it today. It's coming very soon. And you're going to be able to trust this. The Queen of Cups is creative, nurturing, intuitive, psychic, a dreamer. You're going to feel that something here is safe. The King of Pentacles. Here's that masculine coming in with this offer. And this is a very masculine energy here who is going to love and respect the creativity and the feminine energy this person is going to come in and be willing to i always say um the the five big p's for me in a relationship they're going to protect provide profess proclaim and pray for you because that's your judgment here your judgment for the past is being balanced out two sixes once again whenever i have a reading and this happens Every few months where the numbers keep doubling like this. For some of you, this is your soulmate or twin flame. This, it tells me because of all of the doubles here and the synchronicities that you're being balanced. Your feminine and masculine energy is being balanced out, but you're also mirroring someone. You and someone have both awakened to a connection here. And this is someone from a past life. It could be someone from your past. Okay. And you guys, I did make a post about this. Some of you, you have people from your past that you are meant to be with. I'm not saying the person that used you, abused you. I'm not I'm not condoning that you accept anything bad. But some of you, you spend so much time watching tarot and listening to what everyone else has to say that you don't even take the time out to realize that there are people from your past, whether you had a relationship with them or it was a friendship, that they are actually on the same energetic frequency and vibration as you and they're ready and willing to come into your life to make you happy. Your person, you some of you, you've already met your person. So don't be so quick to always say, oh, I'll never go back to the past. Because most of you, you're only focused on one person that hurts you from the past. You need to let that hurt go. If you don't want to be with that person, that's fine. But you have past life soulmates, people that you haven't even met yet. And you can get so bitter and upset about the past that you don't even allow yourself to experience this balance. Allow your own soul to ascend and it cannot ascend with you being angry at everything that has happened in the past. Let it go. Let it go. Let the blessings come in. Be happy. Be willing to start over. Sometimes starting over is starting over with someone new. Sometimes starting over is having a new start with someone old. That's, up for, that's for you to decide. And discern. As a reader, I can't tell you who you're supposed to be with. You will know by how it feels and the energy. This high priestess energy out here, you guys, you spiritually should be in a place where you should know what's good for you and what's not. And it has nothing to do with anything outwardly, worldly, or, or based on time. Don't A person brand new can come into your life and can ruin your life. And the whole time you're saying, oh, well, I don't want to be with the past person. Okay, well, you just gave a, a shot to somebody new and they're going to destroy you. You probably should have went back to that person from the past who has learned lessons 
and wants to be with you. That's not everyone's story. But I'm just saying, stop worrying so much about timing, physical things, the outwardly, outwardly things. Allow yourself to shift into something more spiritual where you understand how your soul connects and your spirit connects with another person. That's what should be should matter. Three of Cups. Some of you, you are, wow, you're meeting your twin flame or reconciling with this person if they're already in your life. The Three of Cups, the Chariot, the Magician. This person has manifested you and you have manifested them. And the worst is over because the Ten of Swords is here. The worst is over. And behind that, I'm pretty sure it's the Three of Swords. There is no more heartbreak. There is no more pain. But I'm telling you, oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Is this serious? Like <laughs> The sun is here. Yes, this is your twin flame, your soulmate, your divine counterpart, the person that you've been working to manifest, the person that you never lost hope for the entire time that you were going through this battle. Whether it's someone new or someone old, your soul has manifested, your soul has called out to the person that you're meant to manifest and do life with. And the worst is over because here, look, the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold, feeling abandoned, heartbroken, full of pain and sorrow. That part of your life is over. Being stuck in complacent, stagnant, waiting on someone to come into your life is over. But you have to be willing to surrender. You have to sacrifice the, that bitterness in your heart because I'm telling you, I feel it here. Some of you, you have to look, you have to let go of this conflict. You have to let go of the people around you who constantly tell you that you can't have success. You cannot be surrounded by naysayers and you cannot live your life wanting happiness if you allow yourself to be full of internal conflict. Let it go. Everyone is not out to hurt you. You're going to have to put that in your past and realize, okay, now you can let go of the stress, fear, and the anxiety. This mental imprisonment here, that's why the tower card came out earlier with the devil. Divine intervention here is saying you get to shift out of this. You get to be in your feminine energy and allow yourself to simply just receive. It's time for you to be nurtured. As all the hell that you've been through, you should allow that. So once again, stop worrying about who it's coming from. Worry about the fact that you're worthy of receiving it. Don't have your guards up so much. You, there's no reason to live in fear. If you live in fear, you're going to keep attracting situations that are going to put you in, in fearful situations. It's time to change your mindset. You have beautiful energy here. And if there's someone, for some of you, that has been hiding their feelings, I do feel like they're about to finally just release and tell you how they feel. The King of Swords is someone who is very spiritual and, and analytical as well. This person is grounded. But if you can see here, this person, when I think of King of Swords, I think about air energy. This is someone here who probably is very tapped into their clairs, meaning this person could be clairaudient. How they receive messages is very, very clear. And this person most likely is receiving a message now that they're awakening and freeing themselves from illusions and they're seeing that you're what really makes them happy or in order for them to be happy they perhaps need to extend an offer to you and someone has been working on this for a while now after being very much conflicted everyone you should respect the fact that just like you you're growing other people in your life are growing friends family other people they're growing as well Again, I'm not saying that you have to go back from anyone from your past, but I'm saying you need to stop going back in your mind, worrying about who was in a certain way in their past. You have not always been the person that you are. Don't ever forget that. Humble yourself, please. Grace, mercy is how you receive favor. Queen of Pentacles, your home life is about to be beautiful. You can be free, grounded, practical, motherly, a spouse, if that's what you choose. This is you celebrating new home, new business, family, friends. It's contentment. All these cups here, everything that you touch, it, it's golden and it all brings happiness. There's a lot for you to celebrate. 
it's either here now or it's coming. It has taken time, but you graduated. And again, here, if there is a masculine or if you are a masculine, whether you're male or female that's been confused, God is trying to show you exactly what to choose and, and the way to go now. Just listen. You don't have to be discontent and bored with your life and constantly in this, this ongoing battle of conflict of trying to figure out if someone is out to get you, hurt you, ruin you, sabotage you or whatever. You can let that go because hopefully you have boundaries in place now where you just see and understand that you're, like I said, you're worthy of certain things. You love yourself enough now. You know what's good for you and you know what's not good for you. So by you having self-worth, value, self-love, you're going to have to trust that that's the type of person that you're going to attract. Whether it's someone new or someone old, you don't have to be up in arms. When you trust yourself, it becomes easier for you to trust other people. People who typically have a problem with trusting others is because they don't trust themselves. Either they know that they are going to do something crazy or they've been betrayed so many times that they don't trust themselves to make good decisions. So if you're having trust issues, figure out why those trust issues are there. And it's not always because of someone else. Cutting the deck here, I have release and the seven of wands. So like I said, put your guard down. You can put the sword down. The fight is over. You get to release now. The, the end of a difficult phase or situation in your life is finally here. You're spiritually transforming. So you can move on. I think that you should always defend yourself and your beliefs and your decisions. Stand your ground. But choose your battles wisely. Some of you are going to mess up good things because you're going to take that past pain into new situations. It's time to let it go. This is all about releasing. Understanding that, yeah, the ten, <laughs> I can't make it up. The Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. You know the Four of Swords is all about healing. And the Ten of Swords is right here. It's doubling. It's, it's saying, once again, the worst is over. The worst is over. The worst is over. This difficult situation is over. So allow yourself to embrace these changes. Things are getting better, but you have to have the eyes and the understanding to see that it's getting better. It may not be, I'm not saying you're going to wake up in, in a dream world tomorrow, but the things that have been happening, especially in the background, they're improving. This part of your journey is up to you. Can you see the good in a situation despite the fact that it has been so bad? You still have to do your part. But it's time for you to rest. Maybe you need to take a, a vacation. Take some time off. Pray. Meditate more. Get out in nature. But don't allow yourself to miss out on magical opportunities. Because you're focused on negative things. There's a lot of pessimism underneath here. And it's, it makes sense why most people will be pessimistic. Because of everything that you've gone through. I can relate to that too, but in order for you to really attract love and abundance, you have to open up your heart. And when your heart is open, it's true. You give, you're giving someone the power to hurt you. But if you have those boundaries in place, like I said, you have to learn to trust yourself. Set boundaries. The cherry. You're moving forward. And here is the world. Something is over. And here is the ace of swords. So there is a clear breakthrough here. You've achieved something or you're about to achieve something huge in your life. Some of you are even going to be receiving some type of public recognition, some type of rewards. This could be in, in the, your, your job, your family or something. And this all comes from you seeing the truth about a particular situation that has you know happened in your life where you thought that it was some type of missed opportunity. Don't allow yourself to cry over any spilled milk anymore because your breakthrough is here. The Ten of Swords is here, the world, and the chariot. These are all cards speaking of moving forward and the Ace of Swords as well. The Ace of Swords is saying that that breakthrough is here. 
Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands. This is a new passionate beginning. Page of Wands, the dreamer. This is all like action. It's take, you know, being very energetic, being excited about some type of new opportunity. Some of you definitely can expect like um growth in your career, your finances. Some some of you may even have someone that proposes to you or like a relationship will go to the next level, but it's important for you to be very outgoing and confident right now. Really tap into your creativity because you have like good news coming about you just just new opportunities and you're going to have to take a leap of faith because here is the fool card. This is a brand new start, though, where you get to follow your dreams. And these are unexpected opportunities. It's like blessings are just coming out of nowhere. But you've been building up things in the spiritual realm for so long that now it's as above, so below. It's now coming to the 3D level for you. Some of you, you've been, you know in a union with yourself as well as with another person where you've been creating this empire <laughs> in the 5d and now you're finally going to see it in the 3d so some of you you may get into a relationship or it could be a business relationship or partnership with someone and things will take off really really fast and i just looked down and noticed the emperor is here wow <laughs> the emperor the high priest is in the three of wands i'm not even i'm done if you look at my readings from like almost a year ago, I've been talking about the emperor and the high priestess coming together for so long. And look at this. Two, three, four. Something here is aligned. All of my readings this week have been like aligned. It's been like one, two, three, four, four, five, six. Like it shows alignment. This is two, three, four. So the three of wands, of course, is saying your ships are coming in. It's looking at the bigger picture. Okay. This is manifestation um, you planning how to make long-term plans, the high priestess and the emperor, for some of you, as I've been saying for a long time now, it's been the high priestess and the emperor and the high priestess and the sage, the, uh, like Sagittarius, this earth angel. These are two people who are very much, um, chosen. Okay. So one of you could be more spiritual. The other one may, you know, be religious. There could be differences in these connections for some of you. But it's perfect because you have a person here who is very organized and logical and structured, um, very disciplined, like a leader. That would be the emperor. And then you have the high priestess, who is obviously someone who is very intuitive, patient, um, you know, a little bit modest or mysterious. These two people coming together, though, can take over the world because whatever one person lacks, the other one has it. So this is opposites attracting, but being able to manifest like this very passionate new beginning. Wow, that is so, so, this reading just has blown me away, seriously. <laughs> it really has, like, oh my gosh. Um, I wanted to, like, get a love, let's get some love cards, because love is in, is here for sure. I'm going to get both of these. The Emperor and the High Priest is just so beautiful. You guys have like money coming in, success and abundance. And I feel like for those of you who are especially like on a twin flame journey um, and you are hoping that your counterpart will come back or come in, it's like the two of you have been building things for yourselves individually. Maybe, you know, as a feminine, you've been really working a lot on your spiritual journey. This other person has been working really hard, you know, to get their, their life structured and organized and ready for a union. And now the two of you, you can come together and offer that balance to one another, which makes perfect sense being here in Sagittarius. In, like energy Sagittarius energy also is um water and fire and the high priestess is water and the emperor is fire the high the emperor is Aries energy the high priestess typically is Pisces could be Scorpio um I always see the high priestess as like Pisces or Scorpio but this is this is um fire and water Pisces is also um the last sign in the zodiac and the um and aries is the first so this is the first and the last this is alpha and omega these energies are coming together to bring perfect balance and harmony to one another as well as to the overall collective 
you and this person will be able to blend your ideas together to create something that will be very beautiful, very successful. These two people will have to compromise because the two of you, how you process information is very different. There are differences in this type of connection or partnership, but it brings about the perfect balance. But once again, with that Sagittarius energy, it's self-control, doing things in moderation and also understanding how to pick and choose your battles. Stability. <laughs> you see it? This relationship can stand the test of time. See? Oh, this is so, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. You are safe and divinely protected and guided. Wow. You see acceptance and past life love. I told you for some of you, you're meeting someone new, but you've been with this person in a past life or you and this person have connected and you've been building decision. Okay. It's time to decide about this relationship. Wow. Now, listen, I said this earlier in the reading because I knew somebody needed to hear it. Your true love is already a part of your life, whether this is someone you've been with before, someone you worked with, someone you just crossed paths with or whatever. But the forgiveness card is sticking out. You see it. Some of you, this is a person from your past. You're needing to forgive this person. Okay. Some of you, it's not that you're meant to be with a, um, someone from the past, but whoever in your past that you have not forgiven, you need to forgive them so that your true love can come in. However, your true love could be someone that's already in your life. So this could be someone that you're dating now, someone that you've casually dated years ago and it just didn't get off the ground. But now the two of you have been on your individual journey and you get to go into a more stable type of relationship. Okay. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Sagittarius energy once again. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or you are a Sagittarius. Uh-oh, the car flipped over here. Passion. <laughs> Try something you've never done before. Hmm. You and this person don't share the same vision. <laughs> like I said, pick and choose your battles wisely. It's safe for you to make the move that you're considering. So again, you and someone could have totally different mindsets, backgrounds, beliefs. However, that doesn't mean that the two of you cannot get to a place in life where you can share abundance together. There's just going to have to be patience and compromise. And for a lot of you, that's the reason why you've been on such a long journey because you've had to learn patience and compromise on your own. And here we have children are important to this partnership. You and this person could work with children. Maybe you and this person are meant to have children. Children will benefit. If this is a blended family, children will benefit from seeing this type of partnership come together. Okay. For some of you too, I, I just feel like this is something about generational building here. Um, the building of, of generational wealth and love you know being able to go on a partnership with someone whether you have children together or it's a blended family other people being inspired by your love that's what's going to really break these generational curses and, and hexes and patterns just you you being happy you being fulfilled and balanced in perfect harmony with another person that type of love is seen you know some of you around the holidays i know me is you know and others, you think a lot about your own family and the family that you may want to have. And you, if you haven't witnessed, you know, that type of love in your family, maybe it's because it's meant for you to create that, you know. Everything unfold, unfolds in divine timing. Whatever didn't work out in the past, it wasn't meant to. Let's see. Ecstasy. Mmm. <laughs> So this person is going to elevate your mind, body, and soul. The feeling of this person is electrifying. Breakup. Time apart is on the horizon. This may be short term or long term. I feel like for some of you, um, missed chances. For some of you, this is someone that you have broken up with. They could be coming back. Because it says here, have you considered all your options? Did you give it everything? In the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. And we saw before, um, take a leap of faith. Do something you've never done before. So for someone here, it's like if there's a lot of pride um, when it comes to a situation, you know, where you and someone have separated, somebody wants to communicate with you. <laughs> 
Someone really wants to communicate with you. It says a conversation on the horizon. Someone is planning to reach out. Be ready to express yourself. So again, letting go. Be willing to at least listen if someone is reaching out to you. Someone is apologizing and showing that they would change behavior that they have changed, you know. Hmm. Be willing to listen. This is heavy, like reconciliation energy. But again, it may not be the person that's coming to mind because I know most of you, your mind defaults to the worst person ever. It may not be that person. It could be someone that you went to middle school with. That's like, man, I wish that we would have stayed together that, you know, the person that bought you your very first teddy bear in the sixth grade. This could be anybody. It's the energy, you guys. So please do not, please, 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 I beg of you, please do not only think of one person this could be any person but someone may feel like you know there's been a mischance or someone that you know is coming into your life they could have broken up with someone you know and honestly they could they could be looking back at the connection that they have with you like man i've experienced true love before i wonder how that person is doing and this could be the beginning of a brand new chapter for you and this person a chapter that will include children. This person could have children. Or this person may really want to have a child with you. But a fresh start is good. It says the doors are opening for this new phase within your love life. And children are a significant factor in your love life. This may sig signify the desire of them or someone's inner child needing attention. Some of you, you had to take a break from someone. Or there was a breakup because someone needed to go within to heal their inner child. But now this person may want to come in. They want to be playful. They want to recapture rom romance and be joyful with you. And this could lead to you guys having kids, you know. <laughs> Vivid dreams. Somebody has been dreaming about you. You should pay attention to your dreams as well. Like I said, someone's going through a spiritual awakening. Oh, sexual healing. Mm, I wonder what kind of dreams are they having? <laughs> sexual energy can be used to reconnect. And then life partner. So for a lot of you, this is your life partner coming in. Coming back or coming in. Beautiful. This is so, so, so beautiful. Um, since there's so much love jumping out, I'm just going to pull from, um, I call them the heart cards. I think it's called the lover's oracle. But I just call them the heart cards because they're shaped like hearts. <laughs> Let's just see here. Beautiful energy. Transformation just flipped out. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, remember you guys, I always tell you when the weddings, the bridal showers, baby showers come, I want my invitation. I want my invitation. <laughs> Let's see. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Oh, isn't that what I just told you guys? Don't be bitter. Get better. Okay. Don't don't let the past hold you back. Oh my goodness. Just block all those bad thoughts out. God is giving you something very beautiful. He's giving you like double for your trouble. Oh man. This is so sweet. Like, I really want to cry. Oh, this is so sweet. I'm just happy that, like, people can take a load off and be happy. Look at how beautiful this picture is. Protecting, providing, professing, proclaiming, and praying for each other. It says, wait. Don't rush into this. Allow nature to take its course. Pick your battles wisely, okay? Okay. Somebody is awakening to this connection. Some of you are awakening to this connection. Maybe you need to wake up and see like, okay, it's time for me to stop being so mean. <laughs> and life, you guys, will make you hard. I'm, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not minimizing what anyone has gone through. But at some point, you have to wake up and say, I have to move forward with my life. You cannot allow yourself to just exist. You have to go out and live. God is giving you 
abundance, blessings, happiness, joy, a partner, children, homes, cars, whatever you, it's there, but it's only, you're only going to get it if you go after it. You still have to do your part. You have to open your heart chakra. A message for you. It says, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. See, a lot of you, especially if you, you know, are still open to being with the twin flame. A lot of you, because you've been healing, your healing is triggering that person to heal. Your light is filling this person. It's opening their heart chakra as well. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. What did I say about the high priestess and the emperor? You got one person here that's intuitive and creative and maybe eclectic and very feminine. The other person may be very masculine, very structured, organized. You know, somebody here may be a germaphobe and the other one is not. There's going to be differences here, but the two of you are the perfect balance. But you will have to learn how to pick and choose your balance. Your, I said your balance. I mean your battles. But this requires that you be balanced. Balance is out here twice. Once again, synchronicities, doubling, okay, doubles, mirroring. You and someone both are realizing that, okay, in a relationship, you have to compromise. And this could be someone brand new or someone from the past. There could be someone sitting like, you know, I think I'm ready to find the one that I want to spend my life with. And they're going through a spiritual awakening just like you and they know what they want. One day you and this person will just meet each other and boom, it'll, it'll grow from there. 888 abundance. Mm, this is just amazing. It really is. What does it say? Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Yeah. And I told you guys, be careful with talking yourself out of things or surrounding yourself with the naysayers. If you feel like you want to give someone a shot that's different from your usual type of or expectations, whether they are new or from your past, you do what God tells you to do. Don't let a tarot reader, me, your family, friends, or anybody else, or even the wounded part of your subconscious mind tell you what to do. You do what you know is going to bring you happiness. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Yeah, this is your self-worth and value. You understand that you're worthy of all of these great blessings. You put in the work form. You earned your stripes. It's yours for the taking. And only time will tell. Okay? Only time will tell. <laughs> your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. See, there you go. There you have it. There you have it. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. Y'all got me wanting to do love readings now. <laughs> Drop in the comments. Should I start doing love readings in December? When I first started YouTube, that's all I did was love readings. And then the channel messages, as my gift started to grow, um, it was like, do channel messages. And I just kind of shifted. But, um... Maybe I should go into doing love readings. I don't know if I should do love readings for the collective. Maybe I should do like twin flame soulmate collective readings or for individual zodiacs. But let me tell y'all about zodiac readings. We're all connected. We're all one. I feel like no matter what your sign is, you can watch any zodiac reading and it'll resonate with you. And to me, they all pretty much sound the same. That's why I stopped doing them. Some of the details are slightly different, but you know, it's all pretty much the same energy. <laughs> very soon oh clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now new love oh my gosh a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so for some of you there is new love but new love can always be a past person coming back in new energy okay take it how it resonates engagement what it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment oh my goodness this is just so sweet 
let go of control issues. What did I just say? Pick and choose those battles wisely. Allow this situation to unfold naturally and your feelings are real and worth exploring. Romantic feelings. Somebody loves you. <laughs> Somebody loves you. Or they're going to come in and fall in love with you very, very quickly. This is beautiful. This is because you chose to love yourself first. You walked away from one didn't serve you. And, you know, if you or someone, if you are connected, this means that both of you are kind of on a soul level sending each other these messages like, hey, you need to get us together. I'm ready to meet you. I'm ready to come back, you know, together with you. Whatever the case is for you, it's different for every person. Soulmates. It says, you're, yes, this is your soulmate. <gasps> Oh my goodness, who is your soulmate? Tell me all about it. <laughs> who is your soulmate? You know this person for some of you. And here is children. You and this soulmate are meant to have children. Or you and this person, you separated because of children. Maybe they have children with someone else. Or spiritually, they were childish. Okay. <laughs> but it's saying here, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Forgiving and learning. And wedding is here. So through forgiving and learning, it's saying, you know, let go of control issues and give your relationship a chance. So let me just say this for some of you is someone that you've been with and they, you know, chose to be with somebody else. Maybe they had children with that person. They had not awakened. Maybe they've awakened now and they're wanting to come towards you and really express their love for you. Some of you, this is a brand new person. And what I am picking up is that this is a brand new person who could be coming out of a long-term committed relationship or even a marriage. And because of that ending, they have now gone on a spiritual journey and it's leading them right to you. Okay. So just because you see baggage, because we all have it, it doesn't mean that this is someone from the past. This could be someone though that you have been with in a past life and in this particular lifetime Maybe they're coming out of a situation that no longer serves them. And when you meet them, they're going to know that you're the one because you have that spiritual soulmate type of connection with them. Um, but they're going to like th this is to me a person, whether it's old or new, who they just know what they want now. And I feel for a lot of you, you are going to be what this person wants. That's that's what it is. And. This is a connection that's going to be blessed for those of you who say you don't want love. Even if you're not looking for love, this could be a business partnership. Um, something, something very beautiful that's destined to be, it's going to find you and it's going to be life changing. Okay. Um, let's I don't know if I'm the only person, but if I can't think of something, it'll drive me crazy. I don't know what the name of this deck is. And I'm like looking around and all kinds of stuff behind the camera. because <laughs> I'm like, why can't I remember the name? Hmm. I forgot. It's one of my favorite decks. Though. Collaboration. See? Don't be... Listen... There's a strong message here today. It says, say yes to the exciting new opportunities and partnerships that are on their way to you now. Guiding light in your darkest hour, you will find the light that will shine through you and lead the way. And vibrational match. You are sending out new signals that are bringing forward positive new experiences. You're wishing on a star. It is time for you to dream again. Go ahead, make a wish. It might just come true. And it is time for you to let your inner child out to play. Lightheartedness and heart opening. Didn't I just talk about the heart chakra? Someone you know, it may even be you, is withholding love and creating a very emotionally painful experience for everyone involved. <laughs> Somebody out here is so stubborn. It's like, no, just go ahead and say that you love that person or let them tell you that they love you. The golden stars... The stars are lining up for the perfect opportunity now. Wow. <laughs> Please stop being stubborn, you guys. Please be lighthearted and manifest. Wish on a star. Manifest your like love of your life and the opportunity of a lifetime is coming. 
just be open to it. Some of you are really being, you're judging something or this is what someone is doing to you, but you're being guided into some type of partnership where you're going to collaborate with someone because you're a vibrational match. It says you're sending out new signals that are bringing positive new experiences. So your heart is opening and allowing someone else to connect to you or vice versa. Or it's what both of you are doing. Oh, it's just so sweet. So beautiful. I usually don't, um, I don't know. It's like, I, I just, I can't get out of this energy. It's so, so sweet. It's so, I'm here endearing. It's a very endearing type of energy. Like there, I, there, I feel true love in this, this energy. It's true. It's real. It's true. It's very rare, but it's real and true. You can trust it. Just let go. Oh, just, just let go. <laughs> Take action. See? Look at this. Take action. Let go. Take action and remain positive. Oh, just be positive. Just be willing to compromise. Be positive. Take action. Let this person take action towards you. It's okay. Just like put it out there. Like, you know, God, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm willing. I'm ready. Wait. You had to wait. Okay. But in waiting, someone had to choose a new direction. You are this person or both of you. You have to choose a new direction. You have to heal some family issues and take care of some things. Yeah, and I feel like someone was in a situation and now they realize there's something better than this. I don't want to just exist. I want to live and be in love. It says you're ready. You're ready for this. This is what you are preparing for. I'm not saying that anyone was doing all of their work just to be in a relationship. But for some of you, you part of your life purpose is for you, of course, to be with this divine counterpart, this life partner, for you to build things together to inspire the masses, you know? Or, you know, your family says, get more information. Whoa, they flew across. Choose a new direction. Hmm. But no need to worry. So there's something better. Get more information. Choose a new direction. I feel like for some reason, um, I just heard legal very clearly in my head. Somebody right now, I feel, is going through something that has a legal component to it. And I feel like this could be a divorce, custody, um, something in the business. It could be anything. But I feel like someone is trying to get more information about a situation or they're going to provide you with more information. I'm also hearing too, like somebody, someone is afraid that you're going to choose a new direction or you chose a new direction because you perhaps weren't willing to wait on something here and I, I don't i don't say think that you should wait but for some of you there's something here that um i don't think it's what you what you think it is for some of you helpful people yeah someone i feel like someone is trying to get help in a situation i'm seeing a single parent here specifically a, a father who is trying to get their life organized. This person is trying to go in a new direction to like heal something in their family, in their life before they go towards like a new relationship. This person is looking for helpful people or getting assistance from helpful people. Helpful people could also be like your spirit guides, your angels and your ancestors, but they're coming in at the perfect timing to ensure that like you're able to be presented with some type of new opportunity. Yeah. And look at this romance and success. So whatever is happening in the background, you don't have to, don't worry about it. As long as you believe and you stay positive, you're a vibrational match for something or someone. Don't be afraid to pray about this. You need to ask helpful people, ask your spirit guides and angels, like what direction do you need to go in at this time? But in your rope, in your love life, there's going to be success. There's something better here.